Hello, testing, one, two, three. Hello, testing, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello? Testing one, two, three. Hello? All right, good. Yeah. Oh, let me let me take a picture with this one real quick. Let me take a picture of this one real quick. Hold on, one more with this one. Oop. There we go. There we All right, and three, two, one. Hello, welcome to the Biohacker live stream again, coming to you here on this kitchen demo. So today we're going to be able to do something a little bit different. For those who are you out there, a little bit of a warning. I just wanted to go ahead, those who are easily triggered by those people who are trying to be vegan, but then are looking at other options, we're going to look at those other options. And you can see on the screen on the other side there what those options are. These are going to be pescatarian or those who are flexitarian. These people also should be included in healthy diet planning. And this is for them. This is also Kanita's vegan Thai kitchen who is going to be showing us today the chef, the master chef for our broadcast on this channel will be available for us today. So we're excited to have her. Uh, she's not the guest, but she is the main event here. So without further um, ado, we're going to go ahead and continue. Just I'm going to pause one moment for a sound check, and I will be back very shortly. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. All right, looks like we are ready to go. And I wanted to go ahead and show you what this is. So. 
this is looking at a certain type of fish. We're going to be doing some research here in a minute. It's called yellow stripe scad or yellow stripe travel, uh, travali. And uh, sap sap is the Filipino term on how this is going to be used and prepared. We are currently looking at how we are going to, of course, clean the fish. But we have some spices that we're going to be using. It looks like there's going to be some um, organic. Uh, is that a yellow onion? Yeah. Yellow onion. And this is called um, lemongrass. All right, and that's used like citronella, and they use that sometimes for mosquito uh, pest repellent, but we are going to be using that as a spice today. This is, yes, and this is kaffir lime. The kaffir lime leaves are fresh from our tree. We'll probably show you one time that we'll do that. And we are utilizing uh, some chili peppers. So those people who are uh, having difficulties with a what we call a uh, diet that doesn't include the nightshades, then you might want to eliminate this. This is an option. Uh, you can also, those who are interested, you this version, you can maybe take out the seeds, but it will be difficult to take off the skin. All right, some people use fermented versions of that as well to decrease its um, uh, reactivity. Uh, also, we have our, is this our own fresh garlic from the... Um, yes. This is our own fresh garlic from the uh, garden. And then here is the yellow stripe sh uh, shad or, or, or chad. So there we go. Uh, for those who are, again, the, uh, doing the uh, flexitarian or the pescatarian style or version, this would be for you. What is the benefit of uh, utilizing this type of diet? Well, we can also try to, those people who are unable to tolerate certain foods at a time may have to go back on this specific diet and the reason why is because you have to eliminate the nuts the seeds the legumes you have to uh, eliminate the uh, things that are causing you some problems that a lot of the vegetarians and vegans use that includes even fruits and vegetables some people are allergic to nickel some people are allergic to histamine now histamine is found in fish um, but usually if you eat it within the day or two when you cook it fresh after it's gutted, of course, uh, this is going to decrease its reactivity for those who are histamine or what we call other amine reactive or hypersensitive. Another thing that could be used uh, is the, um, you could utilize in this specific time period, those individuals who need to have vitamin B12 because they might have a cobalt uh, reactivity or hypersensitivity. This can be utilized as well, the, um, the, the wild game. And that would be usually pasture um, raised organic uh, free range uh, is the same as pasture, um, uh, pasture raised. Um, and that would be those that are uh, grain free that are organic. Okay, so these are the ones that are fed, not the spent grains uh, like corn and soy, but those that are not having those options in there because people have problems with that. Again, that's another thing that people have to be uh, taking care of. You're going to be taking care of trying to reduce the, uh, the reactivity of some of those other uh, items, and that could be a problem as well. All right, so... Without further ado, we're going to be uh, watching some of this here in a moment. We're also be going to using be, uh, going to be using the uh, foul, fine ground Celtic or Celtic sea salt, and uh, this has a vital mineral blend. So just recently, I had a blood test, and it showed that I had low sodium and chloride. So of course, sodium and chloride together is salt. So some people who drink a lot or a copious amount of water, sometimes that gets diluted. Sometimes you have that because your kidneys are not functioning as they should be. Uh, and that could be because you might have some autoimmunity or a, dealing with some infection or inflammation in your body. 
Alright, so uh, we're not necessarily promoting any certain brands, but uh, this one here is the Celtic or Celtic Sea Salt. And if those who are out there can help me with the pronunciation, you can always do that as well. We're also going to be using the peppercorns. Now, some people have difficulties because of the irritant of black pepper. We combine it with the white pepper and the red pepper. And this is the blend of peppercorns. You can utilize this a little bit if you need to. Sometimes if you want to have that look or feel or at least convince yourself, sometimes you can use black cumin seeds. Black cumin seeds are very helpful and that has been kind of the fad lately to be utilizing black seed oil, for instance. Now here we're not uh, necessarily promoting the free fats such as the uh, black seed oil, but therapeutically we can see if that can be helpful. Again, this is used sometimes as a transition diet. Now if you are unable to have nuts and seeds and you're not able to have the magnesium, zinc, the, um, the other nutrients that are found in fish, the omega-3s, this particular fish is as high as the salmon. All right, so now you can look if there's any problems with endangered species list uh, salmon as being one that is included, but it's not on there. However, how many times do you, if you lived here in uh, California, in the Pacific area or in the Pacific coast, how many times you have been hearing that it's uh, salmon runs that have run dry and, and the like. So th in this area, at least, there is scarcity in that. All right. So let me just check if we are on other channels as well. Give me one moment as we are going to keep the sound going. I will be stepping away briefly. I will be changing the camera over to the chef as I look and check our uh, video and sound. Oh, there she is, or she's not. If it's a little bit, you can we can utilize this one here, but this is more for eating, not for cooking. Yeah, you can put a little bit. Mm -hmm. Checking the sound. Checking the sound. I don't need to put the in here on me.
There we go, good. Let's see. All right, so we are uh, doing the marinating right now as we speak. And as we do the marinating, we're putting a, a little bit of soy sauce. Now, some people who have problems with soy, again, again, are problematic with allergies and such, um, uh, delight hypersensitivity, eczema, psoriasis, and those things that are causing problems with autoimmunity, we can utilize something called the um, tamari sauce. Right. This is tamari sauce, gluten-free tamari sauce. Again, I'm covering the, the brand name. But uh, what's good about this, this is, uh, ha here's some of the ingredients. Again, let me cover the, um, the distributor. But you can see on here, uh, it has organic whole soybeans, water, sea salt, organic distilled sake, water, rice, aspergillus, orizae, and that is the um, the starter for the fermentation for the process of utilizing the soy and making it uh, more digestible and more bioactive. So that can also be helpful if you are having problems. You might want to try that if you are interested in that kind of uh, food item. All right. So again, uh, the picture on the right is the... Um, previous picture when we first started and we will be showing you the picture of its totality and its finality at the end and maybe even have a separate broadcast if we need to for the taste test of course that's the most famous portion is the taste test and looking at the eyes of those who are eating it and the um the, what do we call that um the non-verbal uh, expressions that can't lie of how it is all right so those people who are eating that can be showing you on the screen in a moment all right so with uh, that with, uh, as we are continuing to prepare that I'm going to go ahead and show on the screen on the side a uh, discussion about this specific fish and why is it something that um, I've chosen to incorporate in my diet in a very minimal basis at times. Now, let me go ahead and show you what this is on the camera. Now, by that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the chef again in the process of her cooking and uh, preparation techniques as we prepare this. Now, what we're going to use is not oil for this, uh, maybe a little bit, but we're going to be using banana leaves and steaming the fish, I believe. That's the way that we do it. Uh, we've been utilizing the frying pan lately, which we have uh, very rarely done. Uh, there's a lot of oil, but you can eat usually uh, everything that's in there, That's uh, once it's cleaned, of course, but you can go ahead and do that. All right, so now on the uh, video screen will be again Chef Kanita, the uh, chef from Thailand, coming over to show us this. And uh, of course, we are now in the Pacific Coast region in the Central Valley. For those who are in this area, you could say hi, of course, and we are enjoying the uh, 100 degree weather and a little bit of the smoke from the fires from Yosemite area, Mariposa. All right, so as we do that, we're going to go ahead and separate from the screen a little bit here, and we're going to go ahead and utilize not that, but we're going to utilize... Okay, so as we uh, speak, I'm going to also turn the camera again and show you the 
um, food items, the banana leaves, and she will be placing that in the pot here shortly. That's going to be an exciting moment. Uh, this was a, uh, a discussion we had last time with one of the new followers for the stream. Uh, hopefully you'll be coming back soon. Sorry for the uh, mishap this morning. We were going to show you live a breakfast uh, uh, stream, but um, we were hungry and uh, it was hard to set it up before uh, we indulged that and used all of the sprouted materials. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this specific fish. Now, uh, in certain areas, you might not have the supplementation needed for omega-3 or have the correct amount of foods or the nutrients available. So you have to use what uh, is in the region, of course, would be the best, is to utilize that. So we're going to look at the uh, search here, search engine here as I speak, and we're looking at that. So it's yellow stripe, it's not separated. Trevally, it's not just Trevally alone, because you'll see these gigantic fish. This is the smaller version, so you'll see that here shortly. All right, so here we go. All right, so hopefully that will not be too uh, much of a delay as we look at that. All right. So the question is if we wanted to put some uh, Thai chilies in there, uh, if that is an option you'd like to choose, you can do that. And uh, if it's for the flavoring, sure, we can go ahead and put that in there if you'd like to. So this is, um, again, a picture of the bed of banana leaves. These are fresh uh, as can be because they are from our garden. And then here is the kaffir lime. This is not just lime. This is kaffir. This is uh, lemongrass. So you got lemon and lime, but not just the traditional lemon lime, but lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves. And then we have, of course, the pepper. Uh, for its uh, effects. Now, pepper can be utilized if we look at uh, cap uh, capsaicin. Uh, it's wonderful effects as uh, something that can be for decreasing pain. And those are the specific substance P uh, neurotransmitters that are found in between the, uh, the neurons. And this needs to be uh, taken and reduced so pain can be relieved. All right. So on the screen, so here we go with the mixture here. What was that? Lemongrass. That was the lemongrass and garlic. All the, oh, let me just, uh, yes, go ahead. Okay. So you can use the blended. In Thailand, we use clock. Okay, so using the uh, blender or the mortar and pestle or the clock is what they say in Thailand. And... Um, Again, this is the Biohacker PT live streaming today, looking for those foods that are anti-inflammatory, those that are involved with decreasing immunity problems, so autoimmunity. There is uh, the insert of the Thai secret weapon, pepper, and uh, hopefully it's... It looks like it's everywhere now. So if you're interested in not putting that in, you can uh, minus that, of course. But uh, it's hard to take any seeds out now that it's crushed, of course. So this is a good for its bed of its presentation. So again, you can uh, determine how you're doing with that there. All right. So. Oh, good, good, good. Connected to the chat. I can see that there. All right. And there's the lime and leaves. Oop, and you can cut it finely is the, uh, the message. And I'm trying to see if I can tilt that. And then you can do the chopped onion. And uh, sorry for the jiggled screen, but... Uh, There we go. Look at that. And then we're going to put it on the bed of banana leaves. Look at that. And we're going to steam that here shortly. And look at that. And what's good with Thai cooking is that it's fast and it's easy. Uh, well, maybe not easy, but it's fast. Uh, and we can see how that is very 
it looks very, very healthy for sure. Now, if you're interested in a fish substitute, I'm not sure if there can be a fish substitute for this, uh, unless you want to just um, have your legumes, all right? And uh, things that are high in omega-3, the flax seed and the chia seed, for those people who are interested in chia seed. All right, so in order to, all right, here we go. All right, so now we're going to add, I think, the final touch, which is, what is this? The topping is the leftover onions on top. Look at that. Wow, again, what's inside there, if you're just joining us recently, is the, uh, yes, is, is the yellow strip or a stripe, yellow stripe. It's not separated, but yellow stripe. Like Scad, uh, 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 scad or chad, I mean, and um, it is the trivoli. Now we're using the medium heat right now. Okay, so as a sidebar, we're using a um, what, what is this now? The Dutch oven or the French oven, specifically the French oven. It has a little bit different lacquer and finish and it is utilized uh, well with this specific style of cooking. All right, so that is steaming as we speak, so we will do a little bit more research now on the yellow trivoli. And this is sap sap for those who are Benoit or Filipino and interested in how this can be utilized in your kitchen as well. All right, so on the screen, hopefully it won't bug out, this is some images of the fish itself. Notice it is a small fish. We looked at it earlier. It's a small fish. And what's nice about the small fish, it's a schooling small fish. And um, it doesn't eat other fish as big as a salmon gets. So, of course, it's going to be less um, concentration of heavy metals and um, pesticides and what we call digoxins. Okay, so uh, a lot of times a fish, especially if they're farmed, has a lot of these problems. And, um, of course, the uh, federal government does in America have its role in making sure that it's safe and edible and uh, health, um, I guess, uh, passed for the, the consumer. All right, so on the screen here is uh, the picture of the yellow fish, yellow striped fish. And as we do this, we're looking at here some more pictures as we speak. And you can see how uh, cute they are. They're not quite the Finding Nemo fish version of Trevally, but this is ones that are found in certain areas, especially in the Pacific um, Ocean and those bays that are around the Philippine Islands and such. All right, so if we look now at uh, the web and we can look and see what some of the, uh, what we call fair use doctrine for teaching purposes only type of um, pictures here. It looks like it can be also spelled just separate, but we're wanting to have this specific one. So it, those people who are fond of Wikipedia, some people aren't, uh, we will move on from that source and we will look uh, to this next one here. And uh, let's see here. I want one that would be a little bit more health related. So we can uh, maybe put on here health benefits, okay? So I always like to put health benefits uh, for the viewers there so you can see why have we chosen this specific fish if you're needing to have that at a flexi uh, flexitarian uh, option during your diet or elimination phase. Now sometimes things like eggs, soy, and fish are allergenic. So we have to make sure, but those are those people who have actually allergies. We're looking at people who have 
food sensitivities and hypersensitivities and delayed hypersensitivities. We're looking at that as well. So here we are and we're looking at the uh, benefits and there is a nice article I read from uh, PubMed. Can yellow stripe SCAD, or yeah, SCAD, S-C-A-D, uh, compete with salmon on its role in platelet? Um, it says here, indeed, despite the multiple health benefits of fatty fish, if the level of mercury contaminants is higher, it is, about, is advisable to quit such uh, a fish. So salmon is supposedly the lowest on the list, and uh, that's the reason why um, people eat salmon or they just enjoy the taste. Of course, a lot of people are nowadays dictated by not only their taste, but their health, but also in the reactivity that might be going on. So let's look and see what's steaming in the background. And there you go. It is now, we added some water. Now, how much water do you put? Probably a half a cup. About a half a cup mm -hmm. as needed. And it's uh, percolating on the bottom as we speak. And that is uh, very interesting. Good. Don't put first. Put so, so don't put it first, but use it after it's boiled, according to the chef in the background. Now, we have also in here, um, let's look at some other ones here. All right, so... Let's go to, I think this one looks good here. Let's go with the ones that are on the top, I think. Uh, we should go to the PubMed, but we want to. Uh, this one here is dried. We don't want it dried. We are just fresh. Let's just go with that article. Let's just go with that article and see what it says. Now we're going to sparse through this here. It says on here, though. Some literature has demonstrated that omega-3 fatty acid from fish fillet ameliorates inflammation, reduces pro-inflammatory cytokine, inhibits signaling pathway, and regulates the physical composition of inflammatory leukocytes and free radicals, ROS. Yellow stripe SCAD, YSS in this specific PubMed article, is a local Malaysian fish. Of course, in that Malaysian... I think uh, what we call archipelago, um, archipelago, I can't pronounce that right, but in that area, including the Philippines, has been shown to contain a comparable amount of EPA slash DHA content. Now, if you are unfamiliar with what that is, if you are unfamiliar with what that is, that is the... Um, essential fatty acids that are easily and bioavailable bio, bio in fish. Now, we can utilize other forms like algal oil for those who are vegan. And let me just show you an example of that. All right. Now, again, we're not promoting any specific brand, but this is um, one here that I use. And I use um, about one milliliter every day uh, the, the amount I think is only um, 0.75 milliliters or three-eighths of a dropper full but uh, we utilize I utilize the DHA slash EPA now it says on here in this specific style of uh, algal oil for those of you who are needing the omega-3s that's a very important thing for people who have the degenerative processes, inflammation, those people who have autoimmunity, omega-3 is very important. And even in the midst of um, contagion, this is very good to have is the omega-3s in the body. And you can see here how it helps earlier on, helps with the pro, uh, reduces the pro-inflammatory cytokines, 
and it regulates the uh, composition of the inflammatory leukocytes and the free radicals ROS. All right. So it says in this uh, in the review we'll focus the, on the dietary role of fish fillet that will balance the omega-6 fatty and omega-3 fatty acid ratio and platelet phospholipids from YSS yellow striped scad and uh, to manage and prevent healthy overweight slash obesity related risk factors such as cardiovascular disease and to avoid risking or the risk orthodox drug treatment come time times has. All right, so again, here we are. This is the steamed fish. We are excited about this Thai style. And you can hear it is, it, it is it, that's not the fish making the sound now, that's the gurgling of the steam. And we're uh, checking it and it's almost ready, she, she, the chef says. So as we continue to speak, we're talking about how um, the, this is involved, the EPA and DHA. If we look at that, it says here, purity is, uh, again, we have to uh, have credit where credit is due. This is from uh, Dr. Foreman, um, and it says on here, DHA and EPA purity is, what was that now? Uh, we're now putting it on low. So notice the length of time we have are on low now. So it says here, the DHA and EPA purity is a natural vegan source of omega-3 fatty acids purified from lab-grown microalgae. We ensure purity and freshness as we pack in dark, uh, in a dark glass bottle and then keep it refrigerated until it is shipped to you. Unlike other fish oils, the EPA slash DHA, the algal oil, provides a safe, clean, and environmentally sound source of omega-3 fatty acids. So that's also very important for those who are vegan. They're wanting to make sure that things are environmentally sound and sourced, uh, um, I guess, what's the word, environmentally. The DHA benefit, of course, is a structural component of the brain crucial for the neurological and visual development, promotes healthy cognition function, memory, and mood, and it may help to maintain proper regulation of normal inflammatory response, may help to maintain normal uh, uh, lip, li lipid, I don't want to say phospholipid, but lipid levels and cardiovascular uh, health. So I hear again some chopping in the background. Hopefully they're not more peppers because that's probably all that some people can handle, but this is the green beans. The, uh, green beans. Now what is this green beans for? Green bean is for vegan uh, beyond and beef uh, patty that we have. Oh, you're going to make that down? Okay, so this is for those people who are interested in using a meat analog. Now, what is the importance of a meat analog or, or, or a, like a veggie burger, right? Well, it does have a role, but it does have the protein isolates. And that would be things like your soy, um, the, what we call the isolated soy products, the... Um, in this situation is a pea protein and there is some problems with that and then also a lot of times they use either soybean oil or they use the I'm trying to remember the different names of the oils here I can remember the, the technical the canola oil the canola oil rapeseed oil now some of the oils that are used in this kitchen here from the Thai version and a health related um, concerns is the rice bran oil and we'll discuss that maybe further out all right so now uh, just looking on the screen I will be taking another break here shortly but we wanted to go ahead and read this article and it's just talking about that now we're going to go back to probably looking at the cooking here as we speak and we'll see if we can uh, utilize this and we'll see if we can see, oh, it looks like it's already done, done, almost being completed here. But as we do that, we're going to look down uh, at the chef's next dish. It's another dish. It is utilizing a meat analog, a, a meat substitute. Uh, we will not show the name brand, but uh, we're utilizing the sausage version of this. Now, some people have problems using this because it is processed. Now we are looking for minimally processed, of course, 
and this is what we're going to be doing here trying to use a mentally process um, well we'll not call it a mentally process but we'll we will be utilizing this in a sparing way all right so this is going to be used here in a moment so you can watch that as I do a little bit of a check on the computer All right, so I'm looking at YouTube. We're on YouTube. We are on Twitter. We are on Twitter. We're on Twitch. We are on Twitch. And as I speak, I'm actually repeating myself so I can show the, let's look at the chat. We're also on another one called, um, see if I can get it revved up here Joshu TV and that's directly from my site is Joshu TV so that is uh, currently uh, trying to go through its process there and trying to get it active and then also here we go for the chef all right so we're looking at chef Kanita all right now she's utilizing a meat uh, analog or meat uh, product. Again, we are doing the pescatarian, flexitarian options and uh, those people who can handle those things. Of course, that's very helpful for people who are uh, what we call can ham in a pinch and need to be utilizing a health, healthy diet and that's what we, we, we try to encourage. All right, so I'm just checking a couple things here and uh, making sure that we are live. I'm going to go ahead and push that live option on Facebook. And it looks like, yes, here is the... Um, all right, so we won't have that playing because we won't be able to catch up with that. All right, looks like um, I need to maybe move the screen here shortly for that. All right, so... We're going to be looking at a couple of different things. Let me just get back to the main screen and again, join us at the Biohacker PT live stream on a Sunday and sometimes on a Saturday. Now, this is um, looking at now, if I can get the screen going here. Now, this is the rice bran oil. A lot of times when you buy oil, you buy oil in a plastic container, and we already know the uh, disadvantages of that. And we have a, uh, a glass container that we've put that in. And now, since it's not amber, we uh, go ahead and put that in there. Now, we put to two tablespoons. Again, this is utilizing um, some meat substitute specifically the pre-protein, but it does have canola oil. So if you have problems with the pea protein and canola, oil, that might be an option that you might not be able to do. We just uh, pre-warmed it in the microwave. All right, so uh, we are utilizing that. And what is, is this Thai style? My style. Oh, it's not Thai style, but it's, it is the Chef Kanita's style. And her style re reigns supreme in this kitchen. All right. So we're going to watch her as she continues to do that. And we will hopefully enjoy that here shortly. And we will be enjoying the meal in its totality. Now, one of the things with the uh, autoimmune-based protocol that uh, sometimes I broadcast, we try to eat very light at supper time. Now, in this situation, because we're making all these gourmet f items, it might be uh, a little bit harder to digest in a short amount of time before bedtime. So this would be encouraged to have maybe earlier in the day. And it is not too late, but it is not too early as well. So we're utilizing that. So this is something that you can do. Now, we will post something on the screen here later on maybe some of the... Uh, items that you can use but this is uh, the what is it chopped green beans um, yeah. chopped, chopped onions green. and just the meat analog this is a very simple style yeah. and this is now in the colander and uh, seeing how vibrant the colors are and looking for that and on the other dish below 
we do have the one that is going to be for okay. another item. So, right. So the other item that we discussed, let me see if I can find the picture for that. We'll go back to that here. And again, for those who are not wanting to utilize the little squirmy, sm slimy things there, and you know, this is not maybe your show, but there are times when you might not have that as a necessity and um, you're in a country that has only few options and they don't have the options that you need for your nutrition or your supplementation. So this is a choice that you might choose. All right, so we're utilizing instead of a lot of the oil, we're using more water and the steaming effect. We can see right there and that looks, uh, again, what we call exciting. Don't want to gain weight, just put less oil and then add water. All right, there we go. So that's uh, steaming as we speak right now. Again, the picture on the right side is what we are preparing in the steam pot, the French oven right now as we speak. We utilize the, that and now we're going to shift over to that. Now I can't maybe get it high enough for that. Maybe I have to come down lower. Yeah, let me. All right, so here we are. Now I'm going to take a quicker or uh, more uh, angulated view here. Sorry for the wiggly screen. But this is what I see as a dish that's almost ready to be served for those who are... So now as we're thinking about eating here in a moment, look at that. Uh, now as we're going to be eating in a moment here, it is time to think about hydration. It's always good to hydrate before your meal but not during your meal, unless it's just a small two ounce, oh, okay. uh, at most four ounce uh, sauce or uh, a, a prepared drink like your autoimmune based, plant based protocol, which includes the, uh, I utilize what I call the yeah. ginger, not ginger, but the garlic water. All right, garlic water yeah, with some, uh, in a moment, yes with some peeled lemon, the essence of uh, actually lime, Mexican lime, squeezed in there as well, and the lime itself. Look at that. The presentation is always very important. All right, looks like the phone is getting warm. So hopefully I can uh, fan this down before we close the um, broadcast. We don't want it to close the broadcast because we are just in the midst of its um, finality. So hopefully I can cool the phone down before it overheats, all right, because it's very important because we are next to the steam. All right, so again, this is the taste test. This is to see if that's good. Looks like it's a good, good, uh, very good item there. And uh, we are wanting to fan here, and I will try to do that here in a minute. So I will uh, maybe step back and we can look at that as we speak. And maybe I'll have a different view of that as well. And let's see if I can uh, utilize a uh, downward view. So what's good is if you can eat this with uh, a bed of rice. Now, if you have problems with rice, you can always use the pseudo grains, a little bit of quinoa. Uh, that would be good. Or if you could utilize uh, some millet, that's a grain, uh, you can utilize that as well. Okay, so as we do that, hopefully it won't bug out here in a moment. Now let me see if I can get a fan to the phone before it dies on us. And we got to make sure that we continue the stream because it is almost the most exciting part of the stream here coming up soon. All right, so I'm going to just uh, break away from that battery and see if we can get the fan going for this. It looks like I'm not able to. All right, so I have to use the manual fanning method oh now the the chef said it's a little spicy so if it's a little spicy for her uh, even though she's been in America for many years uh, it must be a little bit on the warm side all right so this is what we're going to do here I'm going to actually provide some some uh, fanning all right all right so as we do that I don't want to fan the delicious food item there to its uh, cooling, pre premature cooling, I'll call it. All right, so, 
So this is, it's time for hydration. I think I'll try to find hydration here in a moment. Let's find out where I can do that. Uh, okay, oh, here is another item, a food item. Again, we're, we're utilizing, again, this one here. And we're utilizing a little bit of anchovy sauce. But now, this was supposed to be vegan. But if you can add a little bit of sauce, this is the good fermented anchovy sauce. But you don't have to utilize that. You can use another, another option. And that option is the... Um, cocoa uh, or coconut nectar sauce. All right, coconut nectar sauce can be utilized with that um umami flavor. Of course, that's going to be hopefully minimally processed, and you want to use that sparingly, and you want to be using that carefully. That might be a problem because it is something that you don't do on your own. So that's in ten minutes. Some uh, a delicious looking uh, one there that would be great for the Instagram photo. Uh, but I don't have enough cameras to do that right now. So I'm going to have to utilize a third camera here here shortly. Uh, maybe an old iPhone that we can use. So, all right. So we do have the warmth here going on. And this is the other item here as well. So hopefully you can see us as we do the uh, taste portion here shortly. We're going to uh, add the um, bit of rice as we also so this is the, the 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 final product here of our show for this afternoon and you can see here compared to what we started with of course um, it is something of a delicacy it looks like so we're excited about doing that and those people who need to do that at certain time frames might need to utilize the option of the pectarian choices all right, so as we do that, we can continue the live stream. You'll hear us in the background, probably shuffling our feet, and hopefully not, uh, you know, in another room where we're not supposed to have sound coming out of. But um, we'll be talking here shortly about this. All right, so we'll be rebroadcasting this later on, I believe, because of its, um, I guess, not importance, but its uh, exciting content. So we're going to have a little bit of a, a, a diversion here with an extra touch to making it more uh, Thai, uh, a Thai cuisine. All right. So I've done my hydration. Hopefully I have a little bit of time before that runs through. And you'll know when it's time to eat because you have already probably went to relieve yourself. All right. So here we go. Again, hopefully the temperature is not on the hot side. I don't see the temperature on there. So the phone looks like it's ready to go. I'm going to use the other phone for camera coverage. So hopefully... I can do that without let's, let's see here if we could do that. If we wanted to take a photo. All right, there we go. I'm trying to see if we can do the photography along the way. Now, food's kind of an interesting thing. It's needed, but it also has a little bit of a flair, especially from those who are in Thailand. We're not finished with the presentation quite yet, but now this picture on the screen, it's in its finishing stages as we are now preparing the sauce making portion or um, section. All right. So, now that's kind of a sideways view. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It might have bugged out on us here. We'll see in a moment.
All right, so that's probably from the camera proper. So this is uh, maybe. All right, so we got we got that flip. Let me see if I can flip it. Mm, now that's interesting because now it's flipped the other way. So now as we do that, we're watching now the the sauce that's being made. So what's in there so far? Just shallots. Shallots, garlic, I think. Just shallots, according to the to the chef. Just shallots, and uh, we're gonna be putting now. Oh, oh, I know why. I need to do this as a direct shot here. So let me just take up another one, another picture here. I yeah, know, maybe it's okay now. Yeah, that's good. All right, look at that. So let's have a little closer view shallots and now putting the uh, Mexican lime or is just regular lime? Reg regular lime that we have fresh from our uncle and aunt's tree up north from us about half an hour and now look at that that's the sauce all right hopefully there's no more peppers because it looks like we have enough peppers for that but it sounds like she's rustling for frozen peppers and that's the thing with uh, Thailand is that they utilize a lot of these items now not quite like the Filipino dishes that have tons and tons of nightshades. You don't realize that. And that's why we all have probably itchy skin. If you think about it. There's a little bit more of the signature sauce. Nampla, if you wanted to call it that. And uh, this is actually a, a signature style of sauce used in Thailand. Those people who are in Thailand know what that is. Nam plik nam pla. All right. So again, here is the uh, what we what we um, have ended up with, and uh, we are now adding the sauce to the mixture. All right. So we're adding the sauce to the mixture, and there we go. And again, that would be good in a captured view. And I might have to do, take a break from that and go to Instagram and Instagram and post that as we speak. So as we do do that, um, I will be trying to speak to continue your interest uh, right now from that point of view. So I'm not actually that good at Instagram or Instagram. Uh, I call it Insta Instagram or Instagram. And maybe that is not the right way to say it, but it uh, looks like I'm uh, not wanting to do that. Here we go. Oops. I know there's something. I don't know if you can help, but there's something you're supposed to be able to push. Again, now that there's so much presentation that is being done now below us. So uh, let me just uh, take a moment here to break away from the camera. Uh, here you go. Okay, so it looks like I, I've got it here. Uh, I will come back to that. It looks like I've captured the photo. And let's now let's see. Maybe it was okay because I was phoning it down. Uh, or maybe it's focused on me as I'm doing the, the, the pho Photoshop or the, the photography. There we go. All right, so that's, again, so she just added some, what was it now? Sealant. Cilantro. So we are, I think we're, we're, we're busting past our um, hotness intensity mark today and we are headed into Thai native uh, 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 levels. Okay. So, all right. So there's, there, there, there is that element of surprise, I guess. Yeah, you'd be very careful now when, if you are not able to do that um, as you're looking for an anti-inflammatory choice all right so we are going to let me just break away again and see if i can see if instant graham has this last picture that i had uh looks like i did and um, i'm going to see if i can put it on here sorry for the twisting of the screen but let's see here i'm going to put here Okay. Yellow. Okay. 
Okay. What do you make? No, no, you make forehead. This is my palace. Steamed in banana. B A N banana leaves. All right. But some some this is a uh, the Thai version of course. Okay. So let me just put that on the top. All right. Oh, there's too, there's too many things there. So it looks like that is going to be going to steamed steamed in banana leaves. All right. So it looks like we're going with, with that here shortly. So I'm going to uh, so go ahead and post that to uh, says your stories. I think that's where I put it. Uh, do you want to sync your name? Uh, uh, not now. All right, so that's what we got here. And Sop Sop Yellow Strip Trevally Steamed in Banana Leaves. All right, so there we go. That looks interesting. So we're also going to take another picture here. Sorry for this uh, section that we're doing, but it will be uh, the tasting of our foods here shortly. And um, let's see if we can again look at the at the view. Oh, the phone is getting warm again, and uh, I will have to take a, a, a quick break from the the processing speed and do a little bit of a fanning, of course, as we are continuing here in a moment with our food. Now, looks like there might be another uh, food item that's uh, worked on now. Oh, okay, this is a, 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 a complete different diversion. Uh, this is from our Nopalis cactus salad uh, video that we did earlier, uh, which was uh, last week, I think, or maybe two weeks ago now. But this will be where now? With the egg. This will be utilized with uh, egg or just egg mm -hmm. uh, just for egg. those who are doing the vegan option. All right. And this is why we are here today, is looking at some of these options. Okay, so we wanted to um, show you on the screen the uh, focus here, which is the no meat, no dairy, no eggs, no cheese, no ham or bacon. No fish, no pork, and no chicken. All right, so we are taking the X off one of these today, and I'm sure you've guessed which one it is. And uh, if we're choosing one item, this seems to be the item that seems to flex the easiest. Well, actually, the eggs would probably be one, but a lot of you have reactivity with eggs. Uh, I don't know if eggs or the um, complements of my brother-in-law and his fine handiwork and again this is Kanita's vegan kitchen all right all right so so looks like we're utilizing a little bit of that. so while that's going it looks like uh, I will be um, now discussing a little bit more on the screen but you can look at that uh, or you can you might be salivating by now if you're interested in watching this we are we've done this before uh, one of the other food items that has been completed which only took like 10 minutes according to the chef and our video uh, evidence there is this stir fry pan stir fry and this is including the string beans, the organic string beans, organic uh, yellow onions, and any type of meat substitute that you like to choose. All right, so that's being utilized as we speak. All right. Okay. 
All right, so now we are going to prepare the table here shortly, but we will maybe close after an hour broadcast, and we will probably come back later, and this is going to be the end of our broadcast, and we should look at a little bit of benefits from some of the other foods that we had. We utilized in, again, review a uh, pectarian, a pescatarian um, plan today because uh, for those who are needing to flex for some reason if they've gone on an eliminate elimination diet and they need the amount of omega-3s or you're in another country or you don't have that availability to have supplementation for omega-3 and that's an interest to you because you were at low levels if that's tested it's very important to get tested is to look at these this option and this is one way that you can prepare it of course you can minus certain items including the hot chili peppers which is a signature thai style the fish sauce again again the uh, the signature thai style uh, you can also uh, we, we looked at the food items that we put in the banana leaves is the kaffir lime the lemongrass and also the garlic as well as we put a little bit of shallots in there and then we also had some of the cilantro on the sauce on the side and we have it uh, on some brown rice or white rice and those individuals who are and able to do that can berry. use that now this one is uh, c called rice berry which is a Thai uh, uh, hybrid hybridization and it I believe uses cargo rice and black rice and it's got that signature purple look to it or berry rice if you're interested in that okay again thank you for joining us please watch it again if you'd like to if you're interested in looking at the um, screen again for this we will have it on Twitter we have it on Twitch YouTube and as well on um, let's see what else we have it on Joshua TV so we have it on multiple platforms again welcome for those who of you who are joining us at a late time and those who are now joining us later on possibly we want to go ahead and make this available for you thank you very much